Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about placing images in Illustrator. Placing as opposed to pasting. Now while there's nothing wrong with pasting, there are several advantages to placing an image instead, especially when we start using many images on a page or several artboards within Illustrator. When you paste an image, the data from that image becomes part of the Illustrator file. It actually lives within the file on your computer. When you place an image, that image exists independently in a folder on your computer and does not become part of the actual size of the Illustrator file, although the Illustrator file can use and manipulate that image in any way you wish by using a proxy of that image. On output, every detail of the original image is still there. Now, to acquire an image, we're going to go to the internet. This assumes that you have not yet acquired your image, so I'm going to go over the mechanics of that. Here I've gone to Pinterest. You could very well be going into Google Images. You at first see a thumbnail, a smaller version of that image. When you click on it, you'll see an enlarged version of that image. Here I'm going to click on that enlarged version and it's actually going to take me to a page on the internet that was referencing that image, where that image actually exists. Now, I chose SpaceX for a reason. Uh, SpaceX has made its images uh, available to the public domain, which means they are copyright free, just like NASA images or any images that you will find on a US government website. So we're not violating any, any copyright here. And although in class, we all use images, for our own purposes, and they're widely available on the internet. But in reproduction, in client work, on your own website, you have to be very cautious about using images that are copyrighted images. So if I right click on this image, dialog box comes up tendency often is to go to copy that image and then you paste it into your file and it becomes part of the file. Rather than doing so, we're going to go to save image as. When we do that, a directory comes up from our computer and I'm going to put that image, you can put that image anywhere you want. It's always good practice to organize your material, so I'm going to put it into a file I made, a folder I made for Adobe Illustrator placed image lesson, and in there I have another folder called images. I'm going to hit save, and that image now, if I pull up my finder, I'm going to drag it over here. Now, if I go to that same folder in my finder and I go to images, there's the image in my folder where I put it that back off the page and go back to Adobe Illustrator. Now, to place an image, we just have to go to File, Place, and we get our dialog box. We go to the folder for the Adobe Illustrator placed image lesson where I parked the image in another folder called images. Click on the image. Now, you want to make sure that this box is checked that says link. It is checked by default because that's what's going to link our image from that folder to our Illustrator file. And then we just say place. Now you'll notice that a thumbnail of that image floats across the page with my selection tool with a two-sided marquee. All I have to do is drag that 
where I want to position it. And here I had guides set up ahead of time and let go. And our image is in place just where we want to put it. And it'll show up in my links panel with the location of the folder where I placed it. Now, it appears the same as it would if I pasted it, but the data from this image is now on the computer itself. It's not with, it's, it's in a folder in the computer itself, and it's not part of the Illustrator file. So it's making the file size more efficient, and that becomes very important when you start doing things like repeating images or using multiple images. Here's the same image that I used in another way where I created kind of a mosaic of that image and applied a gradient overlay to it all the way around. There is only one placed image in this file. I did an experiment. If I pasted every one of these images, which I did in my experiment number one, the file size was bloated to 54 megabytes. When I place the images, the file size is only 4.2 megabytes. Now, with large file sizes today, you might not think that makes a difference. But when you start outputting PDF files that you want to send by email, it can make all the difference in the world. We've recently seen some files that were over 80 megabytes with pasted images, but with placed images, that same file was only around two to three megabytes. So there are huge advantages to placing images rather than pasting images. And we will get into more of those uh, advantages and benefits in future classes. But for now, that is how you place an image in Illustrator.